First, let us for in 2D toolpaths we covered facing, pocketing, drilling, and contouring, right? Sorry, not drilling. Drilling, yes. drilling not we have. But we are going to cover drilling. Okay. 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 Let's see. Before that, we will keep some points here. And we will take circle command and we will give some radius here. Like 5 mm, I will give and I will tap it. And I will lock it here. If you click on this radius icon, it will get locked. And wherever you are keeping, only 5 mm molds will be here. Okay. After that, you go and click this and select. Let's say we have some 10 mm molds here. Okay. So, in view, you keep toggle toolpath manager and we are going to see drilling toolpath. In drilling toolpath only, every all the canned cycles like G81A, 83, 73, 84, 85, 86, 76, everything is coming. Okay. So, right click, okay. mill toolpath, we can go to drill. There are some selection methods. We will use that. So, first method is manual selection. That means you click this arrow mark and you select each and every point. Okay. Okay. This is manual selection and right click mill tool path, drill, automatic. If you click automatic, you want to specify which is your first point and which is your second point and which is your last point. So in between all the points will get selected. Okay. Okay. So after that, uh, right, right click mill tool path, drill entities if you click entities you want to specify you want to select the circle and you want to press enter so automatically the center point will get selected okay okay okay, okay. then you have window points if you select window points if you put some window here the points will get selected. Inside that window, whatever the points are available, it will get selected. Window points. Okay. So after that, we have mask or not. I will teach you what, what is mask or not. This is an important command. We can use it. So right click, mill tool path, drill. Okay. Let's give mask on arc. If you give mask on arc, it will ask you to select which arc you want to uh, do machining. I want to machine this arc. So I will select that arc and I want to select all arcs. And if you press enter, only that arc will get selected, whichever you selected first. Okay. Uh, let's see. So only the same diameter to uh, yeah, 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 will be selected. Correct, correct. Drills. Okay. Mask on arc. You select one diameter and you select all the holes and press enter. Only that specific diameter will get selected. Okay. Okay. So after okay. that, let's give OK here. Let's go to tool and right click create new tool. Uh, then we can go for some center drills. Okay. Then what is the diameter? You can plug it here. Finish. Then you can go for cut parameter. In cut parameter, you can keep this is tool page. In tool page, there will be only one feed and one RPM because in cycle, there is no plunge feed and dry feed. No, there is only one F yeah. in the cycle program. So only one F will be asked here. Okay. You can specify it here. What is the feed? You can specify it here. What is the RPM? You can specify it here. Okay. Okay. Then if you go for this cut parameters, you can see some uh, drop down menus. So, in this first option, drill. This is G81. G81 cycle. If you keep this, nothing will ask here. No need to provide anything. You go to link in parameter, you keep absolute. And this is the R value in cycle program. 
if you give three the cycle will generate r3 okay okay then if you press this g98 will come so for every retraction it will retract up to if you are giving 100 it will retract up to z100 so if you unmark this one it will become g99 so it will each hold retraction it will be r3m it will retract till 3 and it will go to the next area okay okay so after that what we are going to do is we are just giving some depth. I am giving only punching. So minus three. Okay. 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 So after that, right click isometric. I'll copy this tool part and I'll paste this tool part. So I'll put some six point sound fade drill. So tool right click, create new tool. I'll go to drill and I'm giving the size as six point seven five. Okay. Then finish. Then in cut parameters, you can give pick drill. You can give pick drill. In pick drill, you give what is the pick amount. Like 5 mm, if you want to take, you can give 5 mm. If you want to remove 4, 4 mm, you can give 4 mm. What is the value you are providing? It will come in Q. Okay. This is G83 cycle. So Q 5 mm, we can give the depth as 20 pm. Mm. Okay. Regenerate. So same way I'll copy and paste it. We can put the same program in G73 also. That is incremental picking drill cycle. So for that you change it to chip break. You can give again the Q will last and giving 4 in G73. Okay. No. Then I want to put M8 tab. So I'll copy this and paste it. I'll go to parameters and I'll go to tool. Right click create new tool. Then I am going for tap. Tap, what is the major diameter of tap? M8. What is the pitch? 1.25. We want to give this correctly. Okay. 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 Then finish. Then go to cut parameter and keep tap. In tap, nothing will ask in parameters. Go to tool and you can check like this. If you give feed rate 50, automatically the spindle will be calculated. That means feed is equal to pitch into RPM. Pitch into RPM. Okay. So you give zero. Okay. Or else if you want to put the tapping in rigid tapping mode, like M29, that mode. So you paste it. Same tool. You go to cut parameter and keep it to rigid tapping cycle. Okay. Okay. So this will become M M29, rigid tapping mode. So you can this in this mode the tapping will be a little bit very smooth when compared to this cycle. Okay. Okay. So after that, let's copy this. Let's paste this. So go to parameters tool, right click, create new tool. And we have a reamer. Dreamer, what is the size? You can give it here. Finish. And in cut parameters, you want to give bore one. Bore one is for reamer. No need to provide anything here. So what is the depth you can provide it here? Okay. Okay. Then if you, I'll copy this again and I'll paste it. So bore one is G85 reamer. And bore two, bore two means rough boring bar. Rough boring bar. For that, I'm going to tool, right click, create new tool. I am creating one boring bar. You can mention the what is that cutting diameter of that. Finish. If you keep this bore 2, it will come in G86. G86. In G86, nothing will last. Right click, copy, and click, right click, paste. So go to parameters, tool, right click, create new tool. Same, I will create another one boring bar also. In cut parameter, I'll keep fine bore. Fine bore means G76. In G76, what it will ask? It will ask for shift, correct? Yeah. Q value it will ask. So you can give what is the value you need to shift. It will generate in Q, regenerate. So I'll select all and I'll do G1. OK. And in desktop, I'll save it. One, two, one. Save.
okay so now first cycle is g81 normal drilling cycle then g83 peg drilling cycle q is 5 then chip breaking cycle that means incremental picking drilling cycle q is 4 and g84 tapping then m29 rigid tapping cycle rigid tapping cycle okay sir yeah okay are you aware of this you know no mm, rigid tapping cycle i don't know actually okay actually what happens is see in g84 if you put the normally the milling machine will be in g94 that means mm per minute mode mm -hmm. so yeah. we are calculating okay. the feed uh, feed is equal to pitch into rpm so what is the pitch of that and what is the rpm you are going to provide multiply that then the feed will calculate it correct sir yeah yeah correct then what happens the rpm will be rotated in m03 m3 s50 this is the rpm mode. okay but in phasing the sorry in front of there is one another one method which is quite convenient and also it is superb so that is called m29 this is called rigid tapping mode on so okay. First, what they are doing is they are changing the mode to G95. G95. What is G95? Mm per revolution. Mm per revolution. They are changing the milling mode to turning mode machine. In milling machine, they are giving G95. So, whatever the feed you are providing, it will take in Mm per revolution. Okay. Okay. After that, they are putting M29. This is the particular mode for tapping and they are giving some RPM feed here. So now what happens? G84, same thing. Z, R, feed you can give 1.25. What is the pitch you can give? Because you are using G95. Can you understand, sir? As you are using the feed in mm per revolution, yeah, the feed will be pitch. Yeah, understood it now. It will be pitch. Okay. After that, at last, you can cancel that using the same yeah. milling mode. So, by using G94. Okay. Okay. So, in G94, again, it changes to mm per minute mode. So, what is the benefit of that means? Sir, in this mode, the tap will be a little bit smoother when compared to that cycle. And also, you can give Q here. You can, if you give Q 5 mm, the tap will go 5 mm, 5 mm picking. In this cycle, you can do. Okay. But in, so in that cycle, it, we can't do. Yeah, in that cycle, we cannot give it. Mm, we cannot give. It. So this will be fine, okay. sir. Actually, if you want to try, you can try. It will be more convenient for us. Okay. 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 In this picking, okay. you can do some picking also. Q. Picking, okay. tapping. Okay, this is called the uh, this one. And after that, we are going down and we are having a remark here G85 bore one and G86 bore two cycle that is rough boring cycle, then fine bore G76. And whatever we are giving here, it will come in shift. There will be a column in shift, it will come here in Q. Okay, okay. okay. So, this is the thing, sir. This is called the can cycle drilling program. Okay. Okay. So, next, what we are going to do is we are going to see by using this four to 